hello from the island of Kauai. I've been here by the pool swimming and I decided it was time to relax and dry off. So I've decided it's time for a story. And I found this, found this fun little book, Pu'ule and the Everyday Rainbow. Now this is a story about an owl and let's just see what happens. Look down here. Oh, I bet you wish you were right there in the ocean playing right now, don't you? Let's do our story and see what happens. On the island of Oahu, in a grassy field near the reared, renowned Diamond Head Crater, lived a daddy Pueo and his daughter Pu'ule. Now, Pu'ule was special. She had unique feathers around her neck that made it look like she was always wearing a beautiful lei. Can you focus in on that picture and see her flowers? Whoops, they're not flowers. Those are just feathers. She was given the name Pu'ule because of these very unusual markings. As Hawaiian Pu'eo, Pu'ule and her daddy were not nocturnal like other owls. They were diunal, most active during the daytime. So every morning, daddy would wake her up and every morning, Pu'ule watched daddy rush around. One particularly hurried morning, she asked, Daddy, why are you always so busy? And daddy replied, Oh, Pu'ele, Pu'ule, I have so many things to do. I need to get you to school. Then I need to find leaves and twigs to fix the nest and find us food. And after I pick you up from school, I need to take you to flying class. Woo, woo. Every day there is so much to do and I have to hurry to get it all done. Did you see all the things here that he has to do? Pu'ule did not like being rushed, but immediately she obeyed and followed her daddy right out of the nest. Isn't that cute? It's a little backpack on her back on her way to school. While flying to school, daddy said, look down Pu'ule, do you see all those cars, all the people? Everyone is rushing around because they have so much to do, not just me. Pu'ule saw all the cars, the traffic, and the people. She saw the same thing she sees every day. However, she also saw something more. Look in the sky. What did she see today? Pu'ule replied, Daddy, I see how busy everyone is, but I also see a rainbow full of colors around us. Do you see this everyday rainbow? Daddy looked perplexed. No, I don't see a rainbow. No, Daddy, Pu'ule replied, an everyday rainbow. It is made from all the beautiful things you see every day. If you look really closely, you can see everyday things in a new way and use their colors to make your own rainbow every day. That's an everyday rainbow. Let's look. Here's a lady in a yellow car and she's got yellow and red and blue and the flowers around and the red Jeep. Look at this truck of surfboards. Well, Daddy looked confused and so Pu'ule explained further. Look down again, Daddy. Do you see the pretty purple bougainvillea growing along the freeway? This purple is part of my everyday rainbow for today. When Daddy looked down, he only saw traffics. But then he saw the patch of purple flowers and smiled. Pu'ule asked Daddy to look up. Do you see the blue sky? It's all around us. Today, 
that is also part of my everyday rainbow. As he looked up, Daddy saw that the sky was clear and a bright blue. He thought, whoo, whoo, today will be a sunny day. It will make looking for leaves, twigs, and food easier. I am very thankful for that. The little owl looked around and saw fall coconut trees right on Waikiki Beach. She watched as the leaves danced in the wind. See those coconut trees, Daddy? That's the green in my rainbow today. As he flew, he saw coconut trees. Now they were the same ones he passed every day, but usually Daddy was too busy to notice. Look at all these things. Take a minute looking at all these things. Here's someone on the beach. These guys are going kayaking. Do you see this cute little girl? A-L-O-H-A. She wrote in the sand. Now, do you remember from another book what A-L-O-H-A spells? Aloha, right? And she sang aloha. Looks like here's a grandma waving to some people, a mommy and a little girl out on a board in the water. So many things to do with the water, isn't there? But today, for just a moment, Daddy took time and he looked at the trees. They began to rock his head back and forth as the leaves swayed in the breeze. Pu'ule observed that Daddy was starting to seem a little calmer and not quite so rash. That's a good thing, isn't it? Pu'ule noticed that he had stunning yellow feathers on the side of his wings. She exclaimed, Daddy, your beautiful golden feathers are going to be part of my everyday rainbow today. Daddy realized that Pu'ule was right. He did have yellow golden feathers that were dazzling in the sunlight. As they approached Ala Moana Beach, she asked him to look down. Daddy, do you see the sun shining on the store windows? and on the hot, tall buildings. It is such a beautiful orange glow. That's going to be the orange in my rainbow today. Daddy gazed at how the warm orange color in all the windows reflected the sun and made everything look like a stunning sunrise. Whoa, no orange here. It looks like a lot of red, doesn't it? As they passed Chinatown, the tiny Pueo said, Look down below, Daddy. Do you see the red tiles on top of these old buildings? That will be the red in my rainbow today. This time, Daddy spotted the red buildings easily, as well as other red things. Red flags flapping in the wind, red curtains covering the shop windows, and even red lanterns hanging above the tables. You see, way up here, did you catch the red lanterns? Look at them, giving special kind of lights, aren't they? Whoops, a little windy out here today, sorry about that. Daddy observed how the things he saw every day were beautiful in their own way, just as they are even on the crazy busy days. The world was a kaleidoscope of colors, and he felt comforted, comforted by seeing all of those colors around him. He started to look for his own everyday rainbow, and by the time they arrived at school, Pulei Pu saw that Daddy was different. He actually looked calm and happy. He wasn't feeling stressed anymore. As Pu'ule Pu hugged her daddy, he whispered in her ear, Mahalo, Pu'ule, for sharing your everyday rainbow with me. I love you. Daddy watched his daughter flutter and fly into school. As he left school, he decided to start running errands, and 
he still kept smiling because he knew everywhere he went, he was going to find his everyday rainbow. And that's the end of my story. I kind of have an everyday rainbow going on myself, don't I? I've got all the different colors in my swimsuit and in my cover up. And look at right here. There's a plant right behind me with both purple and pink flowers. Oh, there are a lot of beautiful colors in Hawaii. That's all for today. I miss you so much and I love you. Aloha.